And, and wiping out the woman is to try to kill the feminine energy because it is the feminine energy and it's not no mothering shit. It ain't no mothering in love. It's the pure violence of this feminine energy. Pure ass whipping violence. Hell, hell, rule. It is pure hatred and anger, which is the divine shit we talk about, the white man telling you not to hate. We'll get into that, too. We're going to deal with it tomorrow on the theology of hate. There ain't no shit I made up. So the only thing all that nigga that ain't gonna fool. I'm telling you, the shit that you feeling in you saying fuck this shit, that's the God in you telling you what time it is. Including fuck niggas too, because that's who you get mad with most of the time, because niggas is fucked up too. As a matter of fact, all bullshit aside, I hardly have any confrontation with the damn white man, because he, other than the regular racism, and that's been going on since we've been here. You're used to that shit, and we got to understand that the white man is doing what he's designed to do. Don't get mad at him for doing what he is designed to do. I'm upset with black people for having all this potential and don't want to do shit and don't give a damn, don't want to be nothing related to themselves. You see what I'm saying? So either way we talk about this psychology of hate is a certain spiritual energy that we're talking about right here. So, uh, 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 right here. So we're going to pull our basins. Also, too, we got to get out of this childlike people shit. We are a childlike people. So I might come in and do some profound stuff, but say if one or two curse words and a person dwell in on that. Like, the, like you say, the sister was going to buy my tape and she heard me curse. And said, I don't want that. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because we are a childlike people. That's what children do. Children can't get nothing, but if you curse one or two times, they'll always pick up on what's called. They're like, when we took Spanish for the first time in high school, the first thing you do is learn all the cuss words. That's my cooler. Kiss my ass. <laughs> Domino choo choo. Give me some pussy. That's it. You know, shit, we learn all that bullshit. You see it? Uh, you know, uh, 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 you know, you know, that's the first thing we ask. What the cuss words is? Best my cooler. <laughs> Everybody, the best my cooler. <laughs> you see? That's a childlike spirit, and black people are reduced to childlike spirits in slavery. So therefore, we're gonna only gonna pick up on the things like I was. I, I, I was in New York and did this whole major lecture on all this profound stuff. And the brother came and said, "Man, it was awesome." But um, I'm just interested. You kept saying "nigger." I'm like, okay, well, we'll get into the comp. You know, there's the saw Negro, which is the black black son, the Negrito, which is the blackening stage. We're talking about an ancient word. Uh, the, the ancient word Necronomicon, the book, the black book, all this time. I say, but the point is, I'm not even going to explain that. I can't explain that. I say, but the point is, look at all that damn knowledge we just we just went through for the last three four <laughs> hours, and you only pinpointed on some bullshit <laughs> argument that you done had the last twenty something years. You didn't learn nothing. I'm saying. I say that's what's more concerned. I'm more concerned about that. That's the tragedy to me. That you. You come into a place, it's like, you know, Collett came into a place, and this was the first time that most of the people at that time, about 10 years ago, ever read, heard the King Alpha Plan, the Rex 82 King Alpha Plan. And he read the King Alpha Plan, and he said, God damn. So at the end of the lecture, some woman stood up and said, we need to be more consistent. What the hell are you talking about? Well, you said the word God damn. Now, this was an educated black woman in her damn 40s. Or 30s or whatever. I'm like... This man just told you these people coming to kill your ass, and the only thing you're dwelling in on is goddamn? That's because we're childlike people. That's the difference. We're pathological grown-up children at large, permanent children. You see? And we dwell on the small, mediocre thing. That's why you ride a damn bus. You'll see that. You'll see that. You, you ride a bus. You get on it. You'll see a white person on there. City bus. See white people on there? You'll see... Um, um, Hispanic people on there. These people ain't got no shoes and shit. And you know, all, and they'll be in there and they'll be chilly. Be some nigga in there singing. You see what I'm saying? Because we addicted to certain pathologies. You see what I'm saying? And we don't understand that certain things. We, oh, we go out to the mall now, and 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 they got people out there and all, and uh, they go out to the mall thinking they're gonna get found. So they got a group of the doo-wop groups like boys. I mean, they got about 400 of these people, and they're just a-singing and shit. 
We got to get out of all that bullshit because most people, that's all they expect us. You see what I'm saying? When they, had a, when, they had a, when they had that survey with black people, the elementary school, white kids and black kids, and it was, it was a survey on how, how white kids think, what they think of black kids, not what black people think of white children because we think of them as being God. But it was a survey of what white children think of their elementary school, I think of elementary or junior high school, I think it was like, you know, sixth and seventh grade, sixth, seventh and eighth. And they said, well, what do you think of black people? They said, well, they're good at sports. You know, obvious shit. They like their hair. The women, they like their hair. Because we, 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 we uh, preoccupied with fucking hair. You see what I'm saying? That's why if you see black women, you see them, they, if they got that perm, I guarantee you, you don't have to be in their sight for four seconds and they're grabbing onto that shit. You see, it's almost, they've done it so much until it's almost a reaction. You know how you scratch someplace so long until it becomes a common reaction? So you do it without thinking about it. They're always grabbing their hair. You say, so they like their hair, and they like to sing, they like to dance. The same old basic shit we've been doing since goddamn buck dance days. Because we are a childlike people. It's ongoing. You see what I'm saying? Even, even this Horace Smith, when it comes to kicking that ass, it is not omitted from Christianity. Jesus is all this, but the last phase of Jesus, Jesus come up in there with the sword, kicking ass and taking names. It's not omitted from no religion. Mashiach coming back to kick somebody in the ass. Even the religions talk about it. It's just that we got to understand what time cycle it is. Our time cycle is, let's face it, we got to be, because I think sometimes we can get caught up in the Afrocentric thing. It's so beautiful to us because we are black people that know our history until we can be very, we can have a form of romanticism. We're talking about people with atrophied minds. Black people. Atrophied minds, atrophied minds mean after a while you can, you can reverse the polarities of thought itself. Analytical ability, rationale, logic, and even, even, even the visionary aspect can become abnormal in a human that never developed those skills. In a society that's been on you never developing them skills, and one of the best ways for you never develop those skills is to put you in a religion that tell you don't think. Because if you think, you go to hell because even your thoughts are doggone sin. Is to take this one God syndrome where the mind has multiple components in it, multiple archetypes, multiple dimensions, multiple feelings, multiple emotions, and say, only look at one God and the rest of the deities that explain those different emotions, archetypes, energies, and feelings, you cast aside. Therefore, your mind never develops. And the reason why your mind never develops is because the, the mythology or the science that is comparable for you to develop a mind on a God level has been destroyed or is taboo. You just be obedient to God. And what you do, you give people a, a Judeo-Christian paradigm where the story is nothing but of a backwards, sand-dwelling shepherd people that not only have no bearing to the ancient world, because the ancient world was miraculous, but these sand-dwelling shepherd people have no bearing on the technology that we have today. So therefore, that white man going to be God because he's greater than any Abraham, Isaac, and them motherfuckers walking around with sheep and stuff and, and, and robes and lambs on. And he's damn so great to be greater than Jesus because Jesus can't even begin to pair with the awesome ability that this white man putting before us every day. And he's walking around in sandals and all this kind of thing here, talking about some bread and all this kind of shit here. New York and probably Chicago are rare places in the aspect of 
Because this is the birthplace of black culture, period, Harlem was the capital of black America. And because this was the birthplace of all forms of black protest, black culture, somehow, in some kind of way, the Afrocentric community becomes in a box. They think that black people are on the rise only because they see conscious people all the time. They think it's a consciousness around the world, but that's only in the world that we find ourselves in. in. For the majority of people, consciousness in the black community is still 0 point something. It's not even 1%, 5%, 2%. When you think about the amount of black people, we're talking about in the rest of the country, you can go two months without finding one person with any common sense that even ask the question on what the hell is going on. See what I'm saying? So, sometimes we think they just think it lasts another million years because we, we, we find individuals in our circles that's thinking of like minds, but that's still a micro percent. That's not the masses of the people. Meanwhile, let's look at the white man. We said, well, you know, we got a long time we had war. Well, we, we, we suggested that the food that we eat now is not even... The animals have been there, or most of all that is cloned. This man has got cloning. This man is killing 75 million Africans, 75,000 Africans a month on the continent of Africa. And we don't have no movements, or we don't even have power in these movements to even stop it. See what I'm saying? Now, this white boy is doing things on such a grotesque form to, in actuality, it has to be a form of mind control to even think that we even have a future. Now, when you look at the structure that is put out before us. I'm not talking about the people going to jail and all that kind of thing here and stuff. Although we got more of that stuff going on, those patterns have been going on since the damn 1800s. And they just doggone elevated and escalated. But we can see these patterns going on since the 50s, the 60s, and the 70s. We have always been doggone victims of those particular things that the greater black community has gone under. But we're talking about things that's much more severe than that. Right. And what it is is the white boy's technology now has gone to a certain level so he has the technology to make it think it is 1965. And that there's still a black community and we have basic common struggles when in actuality it's a much more nightmare than that. 